Hello, welcome to my session today. Today we're going to be taking a look at securing the continuous integration and delivery infrastructure for the Tinkerbell project. My name is David McKay and I am a senior developer advocate for Equinix Metal. I am also a CNCF ambassador and I do quite a lot of live streaming. You can find my streams at rockcode.live. My goal with streaming is to provide educational resources for all of us to learn the vast cloud native landscape together. And today I want to introduce you to Tinkerbell, a bare metal provisioning system open sourced by Equinix Metal, now a CNCF sandbox project that aims to solve some challenges that have been difficult for a long time. And that is commoditizing bare metal, which is no easy task. So before we dive right in, let me just shrink myself down. So Tinkerbell isn't your run-of-the-mill project. When we're working directly with the metal, there are a lot of things that are a little bit harder than working with virtual machines. First, Tinkerbell has to run an in-memory operating system that can handle partitioning disks, encrypting disks, writing and installing operating systems through container-based workloads. There's multiple microservices that are responsible for understanding which bare metal devices are coming online through MAC address identification. There is IPEXI for booting the operating systems and streaming the operating systems over the network. And of course, there's IP address management too and DHCP. And while you can use traditional CI systems, you probably, you definitely have to provide your own runners. So in order to build out our continuous integration and delivery system for the Tinkerbell project, we need access to some metal. Personally, <laughs> I work for Equinix Metal and Equinix Metal do donate a substantial amount of infrastructure and inventory to the Cloud Native Foundation for projects like this. My go-to tool for spinning up brand new machines on any cloud provider of choice is Pulumi. And there are a few reasons I want to talk about Pulumi for this session. One, Pulumi very graciously gave us a free access to Pulumi Cloud for the Tinkerbell project. This comes with a whole bunch of benefits. From the security side, it meant that we could commoditize access through their RBAC system. It also meant we could take advantage of their secrets management as well. Something that Pulumi does really well is allow us to really adhere and adopt GitOps by having everything that we need, including secrets in the repository and pushed. They are, of course, encrypted using the Pulumi Cloud backend. However, if you want to use Pulumi and you want to stick to the open source, you can use any Cloud KMS as a backend as well. And this is our actual production stack file, which is open source on github.com. You can see we have AWS credentials here. And we also have our Equinix Metal credentials. And next, it's not, we can't just spin up Metal and magically does something, right? We have to go through some provisioning stage. So we need some software on the devices too. My go-to tool for this is SaltStack. Again, focusing on the security reasons of why I'm using SaltStack is one, there's no SSH as a transport protocol. SaltStack uses zero MQ based messaging to pass messages, which the minions are subscribing to from the master and executing those states. Salt also has a concept of pillars, which allows us to have secret information available on the salt master node and selectively distributing the keys that we want to each individual machine or minion based on a whole bunch of grains and parameters. One final thing about the messaging system here is that it simplifies all of our network policies. The minions only have to be able to speak to the salt master. We're not opening up ports for the salt master to reach all of our minions. And that's a big win too. And the way that we're consuming salt stack or provisioning salt stack on these machines is leveraging Pulumi's secret store, writing the secrets that we need to cloud in it and then they'll come available to salt. And the secrets being stored in pillars means that we can selectively distribute them based on grain data to each of the minions. So the minions only get the secrets that we allow them to see. And it's worth pointing out, 
So while Tinkerbell was open sourced by Equinix Metal and a majority of the team comes from Equinix Metal, that it is a CNCF sandbox project. This means that we're using hardware not on our Equinix Metal accounts, but on our CNCF accounts. It also means that any maintainer or contributor, regardless of where they, where they are employed, should be able to have the same amount of access. We want to protect against the bus factor, of course, as well. So we need to commoditize the access to the machines. And for that, I'm falling back on one of my other favorite tools, Teleport. Teleport allows us to disable OpenSSH. We don't need to rely on giving people access to the machines by reaching out and getting their SSH keys or scraping them from GitHub. We don't need to add everybody to the project on Equinix Metal. We can use Teleport's SSH server, which is backed by GitHub SSO, and restrict access to these machines based on a group that we create within the Tinkerbell organization on GitHub. So in order to give people access to the runners or to the Saltmaster itself, we just have to add them to a group on GitHub. And that's pretty cool. We are keeping Teleport secure by only allowing private IPv4 access for other nodes to join the cluster. And again, the tokens are all stored in the Pulumi store, are encrypted by Pulumi, and distributed via cloud in it to SaltStack to the runners as needed. So what does that all look like? Okay. So first, you can see all of the code to provision this infrastructure and the applications running on top of the machines at github.com slash tinkerbell slash infrastructure. We have the Pulumi directory, which is responsible for running the Pulumi up, provisioning the bare metal, writing everything that we need to cloud in it to self bootstrap the salt setup. From there, salt takes over and installs everything else that we need on itself and the runner devices. Using Pulumi's cloud, we have access to see when Pulumi commands were run against a stack. We can just click on Tinkerbell infrastructure production. We can see the outputs. We can see the configuration used, including secrets, although they are nicely obfuscated. And what else is cool is that we have the activity view that shows us every time someone ran the Pulumi stack. So we've got really good visibility into when any of these secrets were accessed, the state was changed, and nodes were spun up. Now, in order to get access to the machines, we can browse to teleport.tinkerbell.org. There is only one option to log in, and that is through GitHub. I click the magic button, and I now have access to all of the machines within the infrastructure. I think what is really cool about Teleport, as our SSH means, is that we can have the ability to see active sessions. And in fact, we can even join them if they were in progress and see what the people are typing or doing or whatever. And the sessions are also recorded. So let's take a look at that. We can jump on to our Salt Master. And I can just run a nice simple Salt command to ensure that all of my devices are online. If we pop back over here, we can click on active sessions and we can see that I have an SSH session in progress. And I have a join button, which if I type echo, hello, I can see both of my terminals. Very, very cool. Let's end both of these sessions. Hit refresh, and that'll end in just a moment. Hopefully it shows up here. Dun, 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 dun. And now our session is gone. We can go to our audit log. We can see that sessions were started. We can see the single sign on from GitHub. We can see that someone joined a session and we can see the user disconnected. We can come back here and click play on our recorded session and see all of those commands that were executed. We got the cell, <laughs> we have the salt test up ping followed by our echo. Thank you for watching this session. I hope you get as much value out of Pulumi, Solstack, and Teleport 
as I, the Tinkerbell, and Equinix Melody. Have a great day.